Tuesday, families came together to recognize and celebrate the nurses who were a pivotal part of their parenthood journey. I continue to just learn uh, and appreciate the good fortune that, that all of us got to have who are, who are with family. So thanks very much. Kristen Walker struggled with postpartum depression after becoming a mom 10 years ago. She still gets emotional recounting how the Welcome Every Baby program gave her the support she desperately needed. They're coming into your home, so they're seeing you as you are and not necessarily with the smile you're putting on. Nurses in the program say they were able to identify both physical and behavioral health concerns that saved families' lives. Trail Island is one of those nurses. She says the WEP program helped her meet a goal she had written down on a scrap piece of paper decades ago in nursing school. Last night, I found that piece of paper, messy writing and all. Her support was instrumental for me, like definitely saved my life at the time. I definitely underestimated how difficult it is to have a baby, to raise a child, to breastfeed. Without this program, many anticipate unfavorable health outcomes for new parents. Breastfeeding rates are going to drop, jaundice rates are going to rise, hospital readmissions are going to take place, more babies and mothers are going to have to go back to the emergency room without the care that a nurse could have provided if somebody had been available to help them in their moment of need. Several families and nurses remain hopeful that the community will find the funding to bring this program back. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Nina Wahab.